minds are important to give order to society. But Germany seems to have a lot of them. There are 677 different traffic signs alone. On average, there is a street sign every 30 meters. So do we really need them? Or are we Germans just too fond of them? According to the German Motoring Association, ADAC, more than 6 million of Germany's 20 million road signs are unnecessary. Almost one in three. Viggo is boldly motoring through the road sign jungle on his way to the federal state of Lower Saxony. Herr Schulzer from the Regional Transport Authority there seems to be well prepared for Viggo's visit. Why do we have so many signs in Germany? Well, in Germany we have the highest traffic density in Europe and this is why um, prevention of accidents and direction signage is a top priority for us. Oh, okay. Aha! Signs are there to help drivers. But the nearby town of Bomta has banned signs completely from its roads. Why are you trying to get away with having no signs here? Isn't that too dangerous? We try to give insecurities to the car drivers because of the missing traffic sign. And because of the missing traffic sign, the uh, car drivers drive more careful. More careful? Oh. The idea here is to make drivers think for themselves. But what do the locals think? Oh, for me it's very good, but uh, many people uh, take the wrong way. First it was, it was a bit weird and uh, now it's okay. It's going very well. <clears throat> now we have Chinese tourists looking for the street and for the cars, how it works. This could be an idea whose time has come. Bomte is proud it has less traffic signs than anywhere else in Germany. But can the people of Bomte really live without them? Will I manage to find at least one traffic sign in the center of town? Vicar has finally found a sign in Bumta, but this one actually says people should get along without signs. Okay, Germany loves their signs, and even the people of Bumta can't do without them completely. But do they know the meaning of their signs? Which of the following signs indicates that motorbikes, mopeds and scooters are not allowed? The second one was the bigger motorcycle. Correct, indeed, it is sign number two. Which of these signs would you find on the right of the road ahead of a railway crossing? The sign number three. Wrong. The third sign would be on the left. The correct answer is number two. Which of these signs indicates a minimum speed? The square blue sign with number 80. Wrong again. Blue is the colour, but it's the round sign. How many stripes are there on the road sign for a pedestrian crossing? Four stripes. Wrong. You really should know. The correct answer is five. Oh dear, only one in four Germans can read the signs, but these are Germans from Seinfried Bomter, so maybe they have an excuse. Summing up, Germans are attached to their signs and can't do without. A lot of people don't really know what the signs mean, and some signs don't mean much. The German Transport Ministry will consign 22 signs to the dustbin in 2009, leaving just 652. Time to sign off now. The search goes on. The search for the truth about Germany.